वेलकम बैक टू द इंग्लिश क्लास इलेवन चैप्टर थ्री डिस्कवरिंग टट द सागा कंटिन्यूस ना स्टूडेंट्स इन द अर्लियर वीडियो वी वर स्टिंग अबाउट द नाइनटीन ईयर ओल्ड फेरो टट हु हैड डाइड मिस्टीरियसली एंड वी स्टडेड दैट when he was laid to rest he was lavished with glittering goods there were precious collars necklaces bracelets rings amulets ceremonial aprons sandals sheets for his fingers and toes and what is now known as iconic inner coffin and mask in which he was laid to rest the third uh, coffin all were made of pure gold now when hover hover carter the archaeologist he wanted to separate tut's body from all these adornments he had to remove mummy's head and he sev- severely damaged major joints of tut's body when they had finished they reassembled all the remains of his body on a layer of sand in a wooden box with padding that concealed the damaged things and he put it back in the tomb of tut now since that time archaeology has changed substantially in the four decades intervening four decades now archaeologists archaeology focuses less on treasures and more on the fascinating details of life and intriguing mysteries of death it also uses more sophisticated tools including medical technology in 1968 more than 40 years after carter's discovery an anatomy professor we don't know his name x-rayed the mummy and revealed a startling fact beneath the that beneath the raisins that cakes his chest his breastbone and front ribs are missing today diagnostic imaging can be done with computed tomography which is known as ct scan through which hundreds of x rays in cross section are put together like slices of bread to create a three dimensional virtual body what more would a ct scan reveal of tat than the x ray and could it answer two of the biggest questions still lingering about him first is how did he die and how old was he at the time of his death when king tut died his demise was a big event even by royal standards because he was the last of his family's line and his funeral was the death rattle of a dynasty but the particulars of his passing away and its aftermath are unclear now the archaeologists have found out all the intriguing details about his dynasty amenhotep 3 for grandfather of tut was a powerful pharaoh who ruled for almost four decades at the height of the 18th dynasty's golden age then his son amenhotep 4 succeeded him and he initiated one of the strangest periods in the history of ancient egypt the new pharaoh he promoted the worship of aten aten is the sun disk he changed 
his own name to Akenaton or servant of the Aten and moved the religious capital from the old city of Thebes to the new city of Akenaton known now as Amarna. But he further shocked the country by attacking Amon, a major god. He smashed his images and closed all his temples. J. Uh, Ray Johnson, the director of the University of Chicago, in his research, he says that it must have been a horrific time. And the family that had ruled for centuries was coming to an end because now Akhenaten had gone wacky. Meaning of wacky is wacky means crazy, crazy. So this king Akhenaten had become crazy. So after Akhenaten's death, a mysterious ruler named Simen Kakari appeared briefly and exited with hardly a trace. And then a very young Tutu Katan took the throne at the age of 10 years. King Tut as he is widely known today. This boy king, he soon changed his name to Tutankhamun, which means living image of Amun, and he oversaw a restoration of the old ways of his grandfather. He reigned for almost, he reigned means he ruled for about nine years and then he died unexpectedly. So regardless of his fame and the speculations about his fate, Tut's mummy is among many in Egypt and it was the first one to be scammed, first mummy to be scanned in death as in life, moving regally ahead of his countrymen. So when his body was scanned, a CT machine scanned the mummy from head to toe, creating 1700 digital x-ray images in cross section. Tut's head scanning in 0.62 millimeter slices to register its intricate structures tall, took an array detail in the resulting image. With Tut's entire body similarly recorded a team of specialists in radiology, forensic and anatomy, they began to find out the secrets that the winged goddess, goddesses of a gilded burial shrine protected for so long. Now on the night of the CT scan, when his body was taken out for the second time in daylight. Workmen carried Tut from the tomb in his box. Now King Tut had been put in a wooden box. As I told you earlier, his body had been put laid to rest again in a wooden box by a hover carter and all the gold was taken. They took out his box, wooden box, like pall bearers, like four people carrying the wooden box. They climbed the ramp and the flight of stairs into the swirling sand outside, which rose on a hydraulic lift into the trailer that held the CT scanner. 20 minutes later, 
two men came out. They sprinted for the office nearby, hurriedly went towards the office nearby and returned with a pair of white plastic fans because the million dollar scanner machine had stopped working due to the sandstorm which had uh, the sand had gone into the cooler fans now some uh, one of the guard he nervously joked that it must be the curse of the pharaoh it must be the curse of the pharaoh eventually the substitute fans they worked well to finish the procedure after checking that no data had been lost the technicians they turned tat over to the workmen who carried him back to his tomb in just 3 hours after he was removed from his coffin the pharaoh again was rested in peace where the funerary priest had laid him so long ago now back in the trailer a technician pulled up astonishing images of tut on a computer screen what they had scanned a gray head took shape from a scattering of pixels and the technician spun and tilted it in every direction neck vertebrae appeared as clearly as in an anatomy class other images revealed a hand several views of the rib cage and a transection of the skull now the pressure on zahi havas the secretary general of the society who was who had to write a report he smiled and said now he was visibly relieved after all the stress he said that nothing had gone wrong now he was relieved of all the stress and he remarked that he didn't sleep last night for a second because he was so worried that but now he thought that he would go back to sleep this is a picture of the mural which murals are the paintings which were done in the tomb of tut they are the wall paintings in this model king tut is seen with the god of afterlife osiris now the ending of the chapter is when all the people had left the trailer they descended the metal stairs again to the sandy ground when they came down the wind had stopped earlier the storm was lashing as if the spirit of king tut did not want his body to be touched again there was a huge storm outside but now when king tut was laid to rest again the winter air lay cold and still like death itself so there was silence again the storm had suddenly stopped in the valley of the departed where king tut was laid to rest again now just above the entrance to tut storm stood orion the constellation that the ancient egyptians knew as the soul of osiris the god of afterlife it kept watching over the boy king thank you so much for watching the video students now i'll be sending you the assignments and i hope you must have gone through the lesson and read the lesson carefully